Greetings, fellow humans. Welcome back to Open TTD. If you remember in the last episode, we killed a bunch of people. Do you like how I use we there? If I do something well, it's I did this. If not, it's we. You are <laughs> you are responsible. No. Um, yeah, it was a bit of an eclectic mess of an episode last week. I guess you can see how my brain functions or fails to function, because I skipped from pillar to post, from task to task, um, very quickly. Um, but as I see it, there's a number of things that, that need to happen as a result of um, uh, everything that was going on last week. Um, you know, I went through a process of trying to replace, uh, or beginning the process of replacing shipping routes with... Um, train routes. Of course, the very first one that I identify, uh, in fairness, that particular shipping route I have replaced with a train route. Uh, you know, we were taking goods from Predtown here via ship to Traffingley, and we're now taking goods from train uh, via train from Predtown huh, all the way up here to Sunworth. Now, building this little spur has had the unfortunate side effect that we get these passenger trains coming through. Um, wow. This is just heading from Sunworth here to Predtown Bar and Grill, and it's coming this way. And I don't know why it would be doing that. But um, what we can do is... In fact, I'm just going to have to pause and do this because I, I need to get all of these done. Effectively, what I need to do is make sure that if any trains are coming this way, that they go via this waypoint so that they don't end up stuck down in this train situation. So, yeah, I, uh, I guess the way that I would sort of defend myself against accusations of flightiness are that I can sit there and talk through options about, you know, what is the most uh, important, what is the priority thing to be doing at any given point, um, but that that can change quickly. Um, you know, it's like, in, in the course of performing tasks last week, I do feel like um, yeah, there we go, that's fine. I do feel like I uh, had to respond to certain situations. i got to be honest, when I saw that sea of red when I, uh, on the last episode, when I was looking at you know how much the trains were earning, uh, that freaked me out. Because obviously I went from you know having a chunk of cash spare to being... Um, you know, well, I'm down to 100, 100 grand at the minute, and I had um, at one point, you know, three and a half mil, and I haven't spent stupid amounts of money. So, yeah. Um, this is another one where it is important, I think, that I just get all of these trains done um, so that they're all going via this waypoint now and won't end up if they're going back and forth across this line down this little bit. I guess I have no idea what the what the pathing is thinking. You know, I can see that yes, this looks like a a uh, a more direct route to to Predtown to go via the woods, but the line doesn't connect. So why would you, I just I don't know. I don't know what it's thinking, but there we go. Now that that's sorted, where was I? Ah, yes, talking about how flighty I am. <laughs> uh, the task that I began was to replace shipping lines with railway lines, and we have done one, uh, as mentioned. But, of course, we have also set up a new shipping line, it struck me as worth it, just as a quick and easy way of um, doubling up production of the goods that the glassworks here produces. Because we've got a we've got a shipping line out here, bringing sand back and forth. 
And now we've got a chemical plant right on our doorstep, it seems daft not to. Um, I do think, you know, I'm not sure whether we will make money uh, with with these, uh, with the ship route here. Um, but we'll certainly make money with the goods. Um, but of course, in the midst of um, doing that, I had this realisation as well. Um, a lot of our trains, in fact, probably... The majority of our trains are using the old style light railway esque cars. You know, um, there are going to be a whole bunch of cars which we are able to replace, which is going to uh, hopefully a increase the capacity of all of the trains and b potentially also increase the speed so that has become the new priority number one you know as i'm going through i'm rejuggling the priorities all the time but yeah i believe that's going to be the case anyway that um that we're able to uh replace a whole bunch of our cars of our railway cars with newer versions with higher capacities and higher top speeds so let's see if that is indeed the case let's start out with express freight so for a start oh my gosh um you know i think there's uh, there's something to be said here about the trains as well i am going to i'm going to be moving to a a two rams bottom system <laughs> i'm gonna double rams bottom it that's 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 all there is to it i can't help but think that two rams bottom trains are gonna be all we need to transport uh, a bulk of this stuff yeah look at this the heavy heavy freight trains losing a quarter of a mil a year um yeah okay so you know we're going to be doing a bunch of things at once here i guess part of it is getting ourselves down to two trains max per two engines max per train you know and the next thing is going to be replacing everything uh old uh, the old cars carriages and whatnot so let's start out with the express freight Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to first of all send anything with three trains to the depot. I'm going to remove one of the trains and the reason for that is we're going to update these trains as well. I don't know why we haven't yet, to be honest. The patentees trains that these are running are just not good enough, frankly, in this day and age. So there we are. I'm going to take them down to two so that when I do the automatic replacement, um, you know, there. We, we don't have the situation again where we've got you know, three patentees to drag the steel might be warranted. Three rams bottoms, not so much. Um, okay, so... Have you still got three? Did I? No, there we go. Just on a diagonal. And, you know, I'm not a smart man. Okay, let's get rid of you... And then final one, I think. There we go. Right, so now all of these trains have a maximum of two engines. Okay, so what we're going to do then is replace vehicles. So yeah, as you can see, the patentee... 130 horsepower, 34 miles an hour, 14 kilonewtons look at this it's just it's just another planet 
you know, we're almost increasing the power tenfold. Uh, you know, maximum tractive effort is more than tenfold increase. Wow. Um, it does make me think, you know, we could even maybe get down to one train. So what we're going to do is, well, we are going to start replacing those. But then we're going to also look at the wagons, which is the word I was looking for last time. We're in a light box van and a light flat wagon. So um, let's have a look. Our f oh, let's have a look at what we are carrying. Looks to me like our flat wagon is exclusively steel. So let's see which of these um, maximum speed supplies car no flat car I think that's gonna be the way to go isn't it um, so the I'm not sure how much steel we were carrying on that but I think we're going up from something like 6 to something like 22 so I think that's the way to go. Light flat wagon to a flat car to change the steel. And then the box van. What are we transporting express freight wise in the box van? Is it going to be livestock? No, it's crates of goods. That also makes sense. So which of these is going to be the best um, goods crates? Uh, mail car maybe not nah. just gonna be box cars I think it is and again you know we've gone from small 14 up to to bigger so there we go so as far as I'm concerned now although it's not the case at the moment we've got trains and cars wagons to replace there in the Express freight but hopefully, you know, look at that, 125 grand last year. Hopefully that will that will increase. The other thing I'm going to be hopeful of is that the trains don't get too long. I, you know, we can't have them go longer than five. And I haven't asked for um, wagon removal. So as the tra as these get bigger, I might end up with trains that are too big. And I will, I will have to come back and I, I think I'm reluctantly going to manually do that as I need to. Okay, the heavy freight, we're already double rams bottoming it. <laughs> um, and as you can see, we're losing a quarter of a mil a year on the heavy freight at the moment. Now, you know, I don't know how much the double rams bottom is needed for this got to be honest you know if you take any one of these yeah I just don't know it might be the case that I go through these and bring them all down to one um, but that might not happen yet but here we go again I guess is that they're taking seven tons these are of, of scrap metal per per carriage we can do better than that and we are we are going to so let's here we go we are still in the process of replacing vulcans with rams bottoms uh you know that's a that's a decent upgrade from 35 to 55 miles an hour doubling the horsepower and doubling the tractive effort um but rather than go rather than immediately go down from two trains to one let's consider the wagons because again all of these going to need replacing so flat wagon with a flat car that's straightforward enough light open wagon with an open car again makes total sense and the box van with the box car there we go um Let's, let me just check that I actually got everything replaced correctly in the express freight way. 
yeah they're being replaced box van to box car flat wagon to flat car lovely so that's those two and then finally the passenger trains now then hmm let's see what's going on here with the passenger trains well we've got a bit more of a mixed thing going on it looks like we're sticking with the crampton as our current train um these are changing to a crampton these are changing to a crampton um the standard uh let's see huh might that be a better way to go it might be you know i think i'm going to let this one play out and i might i tell you what i will do as the cramptons age out we'll replace them with a the standard for now by the time we're 20 years in the future i might actually be you know better trains to replace them with but for now we'll leave them at that that's okay the the bar frames and the patentees are changing to cramptons and i'm gonna change cramptons to standards when i come i'm just aware of all of this money that we're spending um let's have a look at the wagons light passenger carriage well that's an easy change isn't it look ah uh, yeah i think i'm gonna have to put wagon removal on and i'm a little i think it i think it might be the case ah uh, you know what i do already have uh there we go so express freight i've already got wagon removal on that was a that was a yeah i think that's the way to go with it yeah okay so that's the settings for that what i'm gonna do now is spin the game on for a bit i'm gonna I'm just gonna um pause and we'll come back and we will assess how that has gone so uh, we're in january 1865 i'll give it a few months and then we'll come back and see how that's gone all right so we are back and wow um these goods trains are definitely doing well and somewhat of a surprise to me as well the ships here taking the chemicals you know um they, they are also raking it in so that's pretty good as for the upgrades that we have instituted well they are coming along um let's see he says they're coming along there's <laughs> literally not a single thing changed in the express freight group huh i guess uh in these ungrouped trains these are express freight so ooh, there is these and they are making money um but they are also the only ones making m oh no you know this whole group is is making money um heavy freight wise well look we've had a whole bunch um of the carriages getting updated um it's going to be interesting to see if this makes any difference so yeah we were losing a quarter of a mil a year and you know these are the 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 wagons are obviously cheaper to update than the engines um so yeah i'm just gonna carry on fast forwarding but you know let's let's have a look at something like one of these just at random i guess this might be this might be now why they're why they're losing money is because there's now that we've improved the capacity there's just too many of them is that the case do we think might be you know because they are sat there waiting and waiting hmm i 
guess I would rather have more capacity than than less, would I? I don't know. If you have if you don't have enough capacity, at least all of your trains are, are making money. If you have too much capacity, then you know you got trains sat there losing money. Um, I think we'll give it maybe a little longer to settle, and then we will see. Oh, profit this year is down even more than profit last year. How about the passenger trains? Well, uh, I'm not sure that any of these have particular. Ah, he says, I'm not sure any of these have uh, changed. And then there we go, suddenly. Look at that. Look at him go. Wow. I mean, I know the game's on quick, but still. That is... That's a decent speed. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that is a decent speed right there. Oh, and look at this slow poke. In comparison, I think it's going to take a little while for all this to shake out, isn't it? We're going to have speedy Gonzales like this guy uh, steaming around quite literally and you know until these guys get up to speed he's just gonna oh, yeah, he's just gonna run into the yep 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 there you go bunk yeah and this guy's like oh look at me 40 miles an hour and that seems to be what this one's topping out at you know yeah, well, but there we go, you know, we are, um, I'm relatively happy with how this is, is going. Um, things are changing. This is a bit of a, a bit of a seismic one, I suppose. We are getting rid of the last vestiges of our light rail network. You know, um, that old thing that was hanging around and costing us money. Plumley fruit and vegetables tram. Wow, we got trams available. Oh, the Scrag End livestock tram. Nothing I like more than the Scrag End of livestock. It's hot dogs all the way. Wow. Um, I've, that's completely thrown me off my train of thought. Uh, yeah, I guess what I was driving at was that the next time we're going to need to do something like this is potentially electrification of the rails. Um you know, yeah, yeah, something like that will be the next time. But it's these kind of, not exactly seismic changes, but these changes are kind of big, you know. Uh, th they happen relatively infrequently, but, you know, the progress marches on and, you know, if you... If you leave it for too long, then, you know, and I guess uh, if you leave it for too long, then, you know, you're going to get stuck behind and what once was profitable can end up being, you know, loss making. Um, and when trains are sharing track, when they're sharing network, you know, I mean, we got the situation here where my freight train can go faster than my passenger trains and they're all on the same line. You know, that's... That's not good. That's not right, is it? Freight tra passenger trains ought to be the express, and the freight trains ought to be the, the slow, heavy things going on. But that's not what's going on here, and that shows you just how badly I let things slide. I guess. Um, yeah. All I was going to say was the issues of needing to keep up with technology is obviously exacerbated when you're playing a game that started in 1733, and you know, where you're using a kind of a realistic slash difficult um, physics setting, you know. Um, 
I think we can have one more of these go. <sighs> I thought for a, for a brief moment there that I'd killed a bunch more people, <laughs> but fortunately not. Okay, so trains then. We have updated a bunch and it's costing us money. Uh, and it's going to be costing us money for a while. Yeah, all these trains, you know, profit is down. Oof. Thankfully, we do have this passenger service here. Uh, let's have a look at uh, maximum speed. We'll do it this way. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I'm already recanting on my previous thing of the Crampton I am yeah uh, here we go let's stop that stop that and uh that's going to change to that. And these are going to change as well. Yep. There we go. Okay. Well, we are in a state of flux. Um, we're replacing wagons across the board. We're replacing trains across the board. There's going to be, you know, our, our previously relatively bespoke, well, previously we had balanced the number of engines uh, to the load uh, of each train, you know, how much, what the maximum tonnage of each train was. But now that the engines are changing and changing pretty quickly um, and significantly, you know, we're getting tenfold increases in things like power and tractive effort and things. Um, and the capacities of our trains are changing too. We are in a state of flux. Uh, I think that's fair to say. Um, I think what we're, what we're doing is the right way to go about it. Um, Sunworth. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be going to the waypoint. What are you doing? What? I have no idea what that train's doing here. Yeah, we're in this state of flux any <laughs> anyway. Um, and it's just going to be a matter of time. Um, once this big change has occurred over the over the next sort of several in-game years, I think. Um, it will be time for us to uh, look at what happens next, basically. So, yeah. Um, there may still be rebalancing uh, to do of certain things. We might be removing excess trains. We might be removing excess wagons. Or we might be removing excess engines. So, even in the next episode, I'm afraid... We're going to be going through and balancing. Once we've done a bunch of balancing on uh, the train routes and the different systems that we have, then then we will come back and finish off uh, these ship uh, shipping route changes and updates and see whether you know we can replace any more of the shipping routes with train routes. So yeah, we'll call that that for today. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to let the game spin on a bit so that we have the um, ability to, you know, see the results when we come back of some of the changes that we've made um, and and begin to work with the uh, the groups of trains and the different routes to do the necessary balancing. So, as always. Thanks ever so much for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves.